Today, we are putting Kling01, Google Flow and Google West to the task on an AI video logo edit. And let's not forget Nana Banana Pro. And you won't believe how fast the winner got it done. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. To start, let's visit hexfield.ai. This is where you can find all your image and video creation tools in one place. Hexfield.ai updates the latest AI and video creation tools frequently and you always have the latest models. Besides using all these video models, there is one thing that caught my eye and that was the video editor by Kling01. So if you click on the menu up here, you can find a lot of different things that you can do but when you go to edit, here's the part, edit video and this is done by Kling01. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can fix the AI video clip you made using any other model. Doesn't matter if it was flow or anything you use. And if there's a mistake like this one, we had this logo issue here where Superman had the Batman logo and we wanted to fix this. And most of you want to go back to Google Flow or Vo 3.1 to fix the issue. But I want to show you, it's not that easy. But when it comes to edit video using Kling01, it makes everything so much easier. And to understand what we're doing here, please watch my Nano Banana Pro tutorial. Let me show you the mistake. Why didn't you subscribe to TV Box Academy? I did subscribe right before you showed up. Then why didn't you tell me? Here's where Google Flow made the mistake. It placed a Batman logo on Superman's chest. And I'm going to show you how we're going to fix this. This is by far the easiest way to edit and get the same output, same audio, same scene, but with the mistake corrected. I have uploaded the clip, the whole clip that they're having this conversation, but this video has the wrong logo on Superman's chest. I also uploaded a Superman logo. Disable auto setting and enable unlimited. For faster processing, you can turn off unlimited, but I'm going to leave it enabled. Set the time to maximum. Here is 10 seconds and I left the dimension at 16 by 9 because the original clip is 16 by 9. I'm also going to show you how difficult it's going to be to do this back in Google Flow. Almost impossible. Using video edit in Kling01, everything stays intact. Everything, including audio. Now, since everything is uploaded, let me show you what Kling01 has generated. Please note, this video clip was created by Google Flow with one mistake. Batman logo. Why didn't you subscribe to TV Box Academy? I did subscribe right before you showed up. Kling01 was able to replace the logo and put Superman logo just the way we asked for. Now it's time to take this clip to CapCut and do our final edit. As you can see, I have imported all the clips generated by Google Flow, but I just need to change one piece and that's the fixed version we just did. I need to find the frame where the Superman, which happens to be this clip right here. So I'm going to place the fixed version clip on top of it. And I need to expand the timeline to see all the frames so I can match the exact frame with the old frame. The start frame is where Batman asks Superman. I also silenced the audio for the fixed video clip in CapCut. And all I have to do is match the lip sync. So I scrubbed the timeline a few times just to make sure the bottom layer and the top layer are in sync. I also went to the end of the clip, Superman stops talking and Batman scene starts. Just like this one. Because we don't want to repeat the same scene twice. The top layer is the one that has a Superman logo fixed version and the bottom layer is the one with the Batman logo on Superman's chest. So in any editing software, the upper layer has the first priority to show the scene. Let's play it back. You can't beat me, Batman. Grow up. Why didn't you subscribe to TV Box Academy? I did subscribe right before you showed up. Then why didn't you tell me? I was waiting for the right time, but you blew it. Now that's what I call perfect fix. Clank01 kept everything the same except the logo. Let's go to Google Flow by going to labs.google and work with Nana Banana Pro. 
Now this new update allows you to upscale 2K and 4K. Click on get started. And here's our Google Flow dashboard. Please watch my Google Flow tutorial to understand this process better. Here's my previous project. I generated few clips to get it right, but each clip showed a different problem. And the prompt reads, Superman is a person on the right wearing the red cape. He's responding to Batman, the guy on the left in the black cape by saying I was waiting for the right time, but you blew it and Batman only listens and doesn't talk, lightning sound in the background. Now let's watch the first one. I was waiting for the right time, but you blew it. As you can see, Batman is talking. He's not supposed to talk, he's supposed to listen. Then the second video made it just right. That's why it's a good idea to generate two video clips at a time. Because each clip produces a different result. I was waiting for the right time, but you blew it! And that's a clip I wanted to use. Now let's go to our problem clip where we had the Batman logo on Superman's we chest. Friends. Why didn't you subscribe to TV Box Academy? And I here's the Batman logo. Now we want to see if we can fix this logo in Google Flow. Since this clip was generated by Google Flow, so there must be a way to fix it. Let's see if that's even possible. Let me show you the prompt to better understand the concept. This prompt was generated by ChatGPT. I give it a few words and I said I want this and it gave me the timing. I said I want 8 seconds. Uh, clip and it came up with all this timing every two seconds they're supposed to say this and say that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the same prompt and hopefully we can add something to this prompt to avoid the previous mistake but nowhere in this prompt emphasizes that Superman should have a Batman logo and Google Flow came up with this idea not the prompt. Let's copy and paste this prompt and use it to generate a different clip. Select text to video, then paste the prompt. Make sure you have VO3.1 fast and you selected two items. Then click to generate the video. I can tell you right now, we're going to get a totally different video clip. And this is going to prove that you cannot go back and edit any kind of mistake with the same clip. And here's our video. You can tell from the first frame, this is not the same video you were expecting. Let's watch it. I thought we were friends. Why didn't you subscribe to TV Bot Academy? I did subscribe right before you showed up. Then why didn't you tell me? I was waiting for the right time. Not only is not the same clip, but each is talking the wrong dialogue that belongs to the other person. And all of a sudden, Superman becomes Batman and everything is so mixed up. Now, this is text to video. We're going to try frames to video. We're going to grab one of the first frames of that clip where Superman is wearing a Batman logo. Select frames to video. Then I'm going to select one of the frames I grab using the scene builder. Then I'm going to paste the same prompt and generate. The whole idea is generate the exact, I mean the exact scene, but nothing different. And here's our result. I thought we were friends. Why didn't you subscribe to TV Box Academy? I did subscribe right before you showed up. Then why didn't you tell me? I was waiting for the right time. I thought we were friends. Yes, it's the Why same environment the because it used the first frame right for the clip. But the Why fact is, the whole camera waiting. shot and the dialogues, everybody is talking we out of the script. Now this Academy. one right is something else. We me? have two Supermans. Right now, do you remember how easily we were able to edit that video in Kling 01? And see what the long process we have to go through just to get it right in Google Flow. And the question is, is it worth it to spend all this time trying to fix that clip in Google Flow we or just use Kling 01? Let me show you exactly what I meant from grabbing the frame in Scene Builder. Click on the left corner, Add to Scene, and open Scene Builder by clicking on the menu on top. And when it opens up, drag the timeline to the portion 
that you want to frame grab that scene. I'm going to go all the way to this part right here where Superman is showing the Batman logo right here. Then click on the plus sign and save it as a frame and it will show up over here. Another method is just right click on the scene and save it as a frame. Now since we saved the frame, let's go back to our project. We're going to select frames to video. Then we're going to upload the saved frame. Since we want the entire image, click on crop and save. Now paste the prompt. Now this time I'm going to modify the script and have a shorter one. I'm going to add a Superman response. And the script says, he's going to say, I did subscribe right before you showed up. Let's leave the rest and see if we need to change that as well. And click to generate the video. Sometimes one of the two videos is going to get flagged, but just ignore it. Let's see how this one turned out. I did subscribe right before you showed up. Then why didn't you tell me? I was waiting. For, for some right reason, time. still showing Batman right logo on Superman's up. chest. And if this part me? was corrected, was we could have just used that part. But you see, the camera angle changed and Batman is facing the camera, which he shouldn't. And red buttons are holding his cape, which is supposed to be black. Let's try again. Let's upload the image, which is the frame, and paste the prompt again. But this time, we're going to make more modification with this prompt. Let's only keep the part that he says, I did subscribe before you showed up. And add the prompt that to use Superman logo, not Batman. And click to generate. Now here's our video. I did subscribe right before you showed up. Now here's a problem. The logo changed with a splash. That's not what we I want. I did subscribe right before you showed up. And his tone also changed. Now let's check the second video. I did subscribe right before you showed up. Well, this is the same issue, different effect. His tone also changed like the previous video right and that's not up. the tone we want. Then I thought, okay, just let have Nano Banana change your logo for me. So from the menu, I selected create image. And you can see the model has been changed to Nana Banana Pro. Let's upload the frame and write a simple prop. Click on Crop and Save. And once the image loaded, type your prop. The prop is simple. Replace Superman with actual logo and not Batman logo. And we have our image. The logo has changed. I like the one on the left than the one on the right because the one on the left has a more standard Superman logo than the one on the right. I'm going to download the 2K version of this image. Then I'm going to go back and select frames to video. Then I'm going to paste a prompt. This time it's going to say, Superman responds, I did subscribe right before you showed up. I'm going to use a downloaded image, the high quality, the 2K one I just downloaded and upload it as our first frame. Then click on generate to create the video. Now we're going to have two sets of uh, video clips here. Let's see how the first one plays out. And then we're going to check the second one. I did subscribe. Cheek right before you showed up. Now let's check the second subscribe. clip. Cheek right before. I did subscribe right before you showed up. Well, I like the first clip because it's better than second before one. Second one up. has some audio distortion, but this first clip, it's a better choice. I did subscribe. She right before you showed up. Then I try to correct this in Google Whisk. I added the first frame of the video clip then added Superman logo as a second subject 
Then simply typed replace Superman logo and made sure the size is 16 by 9. Batman logo successfully removed and replaced with Superman logo. Now let's animate this. Let's paste our previous prompt, which reads, I did subscribe right before you showed up. I did subscribe right before you showed up. Too bad Google Whisk couldn't keep the same character consistent. Also, it's not the same audio I was looking for. Superman should have been positioned to the right, not to the left. Let's check all the three clips made. I did subscribe right before you showed up. 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 The winner is Kling01 because I did all that only with one click. It retained the same audio, same character, and same quality. And this wraps our today's tutorial. Special thanks to Michael Carter for his continued support. Please don't hesitate to become a member of our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.